Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnet, and it's time to leave no dye behind. And that is not very much dye at all. Oh my goodness, and it's probably what amounts to a couple drops of some uh, Jacquard Periwinkle, Jacquard Purple, and Dharma uh, Forest Green. But there's color there, right? It's just not a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the yarn we are using today is Knit Pick Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn, and it hasn't even been properly pre soaked, just pre wet a bit. This is my 12 quart pot, and there were probably at least three tablespoons of white vinegar in there already. And I just added another eight cups of water. Um, so we're cooler than we were, um, probably around lukewarm. And I am going to start, oof, start slowly dipping this in. Um, there is not a lot of color in here. This is going to be a really, really subtle, subtle colorway. If anything, the ecru of the natural bare yarn is getting a little more like white, silvery gray from those purples. Maybe that's why like purples are t like the toners for if you're dyeing your hair um, and you want to have something like less yellow. Um, but that's sort of what is happening here. And honestly, I don't think I've ever done something quite this pastel before. I mean, this is definitely, uh, and again, we are, well, I guess we're a little warm, but we've pretty much absorbed almost all of the color. And you can see that there's not no color. Okay, you can see a difference between the two ends. I actually think that this is kind of fabulous <laughs> in its subtlety. I'm gonna go ahead and add, that's a lot of vinegar, like a good healthy pour. Oh, I need to order more vinegar. Um, but anyway, uh, the reason why I did that is because I wanna make sure that that pale color is set and that we keep some of this white on this other end. And so I'm thinking, gosh, I might not even, uh, no, I am gonna stick it all in eventually. Um, and I guess I'm gonna do that now. And, but actually, instead of doing it in like the circle, I'm gonna wanna try to keep, okay, let me see if I can do it this way. There. Keep it a little bit more separate. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes. Oh, did I even say that <laughs> Stroll is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon? This is pretty. And honestly, it is the most pastel, most restrained yarn I think I have ever done. Do we see color breaking? Guys, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's any color breaking because the colors are so faint it's hard to say. This really does have like a look more of toner and or something and which I mean I've never dyed my hair I've just watched videos but what's hilarious to me is that colors appear darker when they're wet so what is this gonna look like dry I'm gonna turn off the heat and let everything cool off in here I am excited I think I've already named this yarn whisper and I think it's really really pretty it would be a really nice counterpart for color work because it's gonna have depth and tones and shifts, but very, very subtle. I don't think I could have intentionally gone out and gotten something this soft and subtle, but oh, all right. It's gonna cool and then we'll go wash it. <laughs> this yarn almost blends into my uh, photography mat. Uh, all I can think about when I see this is Whisper, whisper, very soft, very high, like the soft, soft whisper of a butterfly. If you know what book that's from, let me know in the comments.
more seriously, this yarn is so subtle. And I love that it just feels almost gray. It really did tone the yellowness that you can feel in the bear yarn. Uh, I am just absolutely in love with how soft this is. And I just know that if I went after this kind of color intentionally, I don't think I would quite hit it because I have a too much jean and so I would go way too far. It is easy to show restraint when you're dealing with a tiny bit amount of dye anyway, but should I try something more like this in the future? Let me know in the comments if you want to see me deal with some mega pastel whisper colors uh, without, <laughs> you know, having it be leftover dye. But this is also another reason why even if there's a teeny tiny amount of dye left, don't discount that. This yarn would be wonderful as a contrasting color for many different types of projects without being like a pure white. So you could play around with this kind of thing in many ways and I think that it is awesome. Make sure that you leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, especially if you never want to miss a new video. I release videos every Tuesday and Friday morning, plus there's lots of fun specials along the way and you really don't want to miss a thing. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and if you are a fan of my restraint and want to help support the content on the channel, head over to the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. The shop is filled with hand dyed yarn, some with less restraint when it comes to color than this one. But the yarn is almost entirely featured in videos on my channel, and so you can watch me dye the yarn, bring it home, knit, crochet, weave with it, and have so much fun. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you so much for watching.